How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Good, you got the meeting started. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's a, that's, that's a success for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on one second, let me pause the beginning condition. So, uh, let's do a warm up to our shoulders. And up. Shoulders. I just realized we should put music on. Mm -hmm. Are probably not supposed to have music on the recording so much, huh? If, sure. if you just play it in the room, it doesn't go on to Zoom. Oh, that's right. You probably can't hear it. That's right. Here, two jumping jacks. Not many, just to, and then just to connect the core a little bit, and then balance and drop. Balance, drop. Balance and drop. So you said you have like a ten-pound weight. I do. Okay. How about how about you, Talia? I don't have any weights. I have bands, but that's it. You got a ten pound okay. cat. I know. I could lift my cat, but who knows how long she's gonna be down for that? <laughs> oh, see how long she'll put up with that. <laughs> Do you have any like uh, water bottles or anything like that? Yeah, but I mean, the weight would be relatively insignificant. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> okay. Um, you have a ten pound water bottle in your house? <laughs> a massive. <juice. laughs> Okay, um, let's, uh, I'm going to roll my ankle out just a little bit. <laughs> I wish I would have done this the other day, <laughs> or last week whenever I messed this up. My forward was feeling so good, I just went right into it, had a great workout, and then an hour after the workout or something, I was sitting down and got up and was just like, what the hell? <laughs> the funny thing is, now it's the same thing, but on the other side, it's just really weird. <laughs> anyway, so um, let's do, um, you can do this with bands or weights. So if you have bands, you're just going to step on the bands, do this, and then um, step on the band with one foot. And then you're going to step back, uh, all the way to, not all the way down, don't let the, uh, make sure the knee doesn't touch the ground down here. And then up. You can do it with um, weights too, though. Okay, Although 10 it. pounds might be a bit much. Mm -hmm. the band, you need the big band. I don't know if Talia has those. Oh, yeah, band's fine. Yeah, band's fine. Pause it again real quick. All right. And here from here, go ahead and start. 30 seconds. And go. So from here, like this, pulling from the elbows. From the elbows straight up this way. A couple more seconds and time. And then you're going to what's the pause on this one? Okay, back to five five on the other side. Just chamber here, chamber right here. And then yeah. Almost all the way down, but make sure the knee doesn't touch. If you touch the knee on the ground, it's really easy to do. <laughs> you want to you have it just, just a little above the, the, uh, the ground there. All right. And 30 seconds on the other side. Time.
So Karen, as opposed to going up this way, so using this, or just this way, like like if someone's pulling your elbow up, and the hand the hand is just dangling there. <laughs> yeah. And then when you come back, just a little bit. Just, just, uh, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. That's it, that's it. Good. A little bit more too tall, yeah, a little bit more here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And time, time. Let's go for now on that one, and then let's go, um, we're going to do the uh, um, snow angels. Snow angels, and we'll mix that with a core exercise. Well, actually, that is a core exercise. <laughs> All right, so on the ground, if you have a, uh, well, actually, you don't really need weights on this one. Just make sure you're uh, extending all the way the whole time, straight arm straight the whole time, especially at the top, which is really hard for me. Extend at the top, and then right at the bottom, which we have to kind of come up a little bit to extend. Make sure your arms are straight the whole time, but especially the top and the bottom. You'll find that you don't even feel it on the other parts. <laughs> and time. We're just doing 20 seconds. All right, time. And now we're going to do a uh, a plank, but we're going to be going, um, you're going to be uh, um, moving sideways. So, how do you say it? So, you're doing a plank, one well, push up, uh, push up position. Hold on. <laughs> okay. So, uh, plank in a push up position. And you want to focus on the four, um, you know, the, 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 the four, um, like, legs of the table. Here and try to keep the, the um, pressure even on all of these so that no one part's taking more than the other. You want to keep it even the whole time. You know what I mean? And then, so you're going here. And then you're just going to go side to side. But it's real easy to go side to side like this with momentum. But if you keep, the, keep the, that weight even here, I'm going to go a little slower. It's real hard. I can't keep the weight. All right. So we're going to do that for 30 seconds. And time. Or hold on. <laughs> Let me go five, four, three, two, one, time. And once again, just want to keep the four posts even weight on all of them during the whole time. Oh, time. All right. All right, let's get, let's get started on some basics. Earn it some of the footwork. So, first. All right, so let's, let's start on, um, well, the first two steps, let's start on the same first two we've been doing, because since they're, it's all kind of based on that, <laughs> so um, we'll work the, the jab step, but make sure we're, uh, actually take one time to just do the step, with, just dropping the shoulders, actually one round and just this, just, it can be slow. Fast, doesn't matter, but as long as you're focusing on dropping the shoulders every single step, just drop, drop, drop. 
And it could be done slow. Slow is fine. If you're doing it slow, just feel like there's water going. <laughs> it kind of takes time. In each leg. Or if it's fast, of course, it looks like this. But it's still the same. It feels still the same, though. Three minutes and time. Think about this, 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 this dropping thing. It seems real, uh, I don't know, maybe unrelated to, to the punches and all that, but it's actually all the way related to it. Because, you know, it's kind of like, it's the, uh, what you want to be doing as, as you release, uh, you know, letting any kind of punch go, what you want to be doing is instead of just hitting and locking, right? You're doing all that, but then also settling at the same time, which kind of like causes like a, like the end of a whip almost. So you're going, you're dropping. So your energy is always going really not into your arms so much, but into your legs. It's always going into the legs. Of course, you can do it here, you know, loosening up, but you can also do it with the hands. You can learn to do it with the hands position and just dropping the, the shoulders and doing this. But the hands are in position. Because every time you're dropping, drop, drop, drop. Drop, drop, drop. No matter what foot, footwork you're doing with, whether it's the angles, rolling, or any of that, you always want to have that drop in there. Like when you work all those stances, you know, and you work a stance, something like that, hold the stance. You're doing that. You're trying to drop your energy. So here you're just doing the same thing. Drop, drop. And there's a little sit. You're, at, you're literally like sitting down like there's a bench on you, like at a bar, and you just kind of sit down. You let the hips go a little bit. Sit the down into the sit bones. You know the. I don't know what those, the bottom bones are, the bones you actually sit on. You actually put the pressure there just like you're sitting, but just standing up though. All right, so sitting down on each feet. Hips come in just a little. You do it here too, drop, drop. You don't need to turn, but of course you use it sometimes. <laughs> Anything other than a jab, you're using the turn, right? A jab, you're just stepping while I'm dropping, right? All the other punches, there's a turn. All right. All right. So now we're going to, um, same thing as usual for the first two steps. We'll do it one time with the right, right side and back, one side with the left and side and back or vice versa either way. So, but uh, jab step. So this. If you wanna let the jab go, you can, but you really don't have to. It's all about the step. So all, all the work should be here. You do your move, but it all settles back to here. It's like when you're going. Sit down, sit down. You're doing that every time. Keep in mind, you're always setting up your, your two shot. As you're doing your one, when you do it this way, because there's the, the delay, you're always setting up a repeat one or a two. The leg is always winding up for that. Even if you don't use that, even if you're just doing this, you should be thinking of setting up for, for these. 
these, even if you don't do it, right? It's a kind of potential energy to sit back and always kind of have that ready. There's a, a, there's a big, big, big difference between being here and actually being like, uh, here when I'm ready to go. Because if I'm not ready to go, I still have to set before I can do anything, right? So you want to, you're putting your back leg always on your marks, get set, get set, get set. You're always, right, get set, get set, which is work, <laughs> you know? A, like a sprinter, they're already using a lot of energy before they go and say, go. Otherwise, it's too late. So kind of the same idea. You're always getting that back leg, like, ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. Keep dropping. Make sure you drop every, every time. Drop. 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 So you're not actually doing this. It's more... Thirty seconds. You can do a couple of repeat steps if you like. All right, let's work on same thing, other side, same exact thing on the other side. On this side, I know with me especially, I have to remind myself to do the dropping because it's so easy to get caught up in the punch. Got to remember to drop first. Still drop, drop. Oh, this side's not working for me today. The knees mess, the, his legs mess with me. It's one of the ankles messed up on. Oh, 
Okay, now we're gonna go back to uh, the one we were doing before off our right leg. Um, but this time we're working pivots, pivots. So here, into a pivot. Bring the leg and then do the pivot here or a little bit this way. Remember the footwork's kind of um, on the pivot. We work out of this one a lot, right? Where you're, um, if you're here, you can pivot here or here, right? Actually, probably makes you all already know that full work, so it's probably easier to see the upper body. Too. Right. Just, the difference is instead of just doing it. The main difference is we do the other step first to bring the back foot, then pivot. So instead of just bringing the back foot, pivot into a right, which is mostly what we're doing, you can pivot either way. It doesn't have to just be pivoted this way, you pivot this way. So bring the back foot, pivot, pivot, pivot. The main thing is really just getting used to the idea of um, doing this pivot. Um, instead of bringing the back leg, you're just always going for this, thinking of the punch to go for the pivot first, like in the first trap, trap, then let some punches go or something like that. But to keep our mind on our feet, it's the main thing. It's really more, more, more focused on the legs. So uh, let's go ahead and start. And uh, time. So make sure to keep bringing that back leg and winding, winding up before you do it, that's all. Bring it, bring it, then pivot. See that? So in your mind, you're dealing with an opponent, kind of, you know, moving with them, rolling, trying to get in. But once you get in, instead of just sewing, you're gonna bring your back leg, pivot, pivot. And if you wanna throw some punches, that's fine too. Usually they'll kind of throw themselves after you've pivoted a couple times. It gives you gives you a lot of possibilities for different punches to throw you. So instead of going and just throwing, right? You're going here. See what options you have. Right? You might not just have that option. It's also this. Or here. here. Make sure our back leg's working when you bring it. Bring the back leg with that and then. That's all of defense too, of course, right? You might slip their punch, but the right hand's already on the waist. You, you don't have time to throw it right. Yeah, just pivot off the way. Like, oh shit, here comes pivot, pivot. Then throw some. Okay. Your back leg. Slip, slip. <laughs> well, this punch is the same. Same angle as the slip. You just go, bring it. Slip, slip, I was doing the same thing. His feet just repeat. His feet are just repeating the same pattern. Now, uh, same thing on the side. Main thing, of course, once again, is bringing that back leg 
and setting for power, bring it, bring it with then. You can always bend a little too. Here we go, you're doing. I'm gonna keep that dropping the shoulders. Let's mix those, mix those together. Um, we have time for this. Yeah. Let's do what I wanted to do the other week, which is um, same thing off the front leg. So we'll start with the um, first one is just uh, basically like the left hook step. So okay, we've been working the one, of course, the one step. And then as opposed to just working the two, we're kind of working with the two, which is just this. We've been working one, which is mostly the two, most of the time, but can also go into another angle of the three because you're working the pivot, bringing the one and then pivoting off the back leg, right? So now we'll be doing the opposite, which is the three, the three step off the front leg, you know, except the difference is, is instead of just focusing on the three from there, going the hook, instead of that, you'll be starting from there, you know, wound up here. But the difference is we'll be focusing on just, just like before, angles. Or angles. You can angle it either way. So you're bringing the leg angle. Or bringing the leg angle. Right? That makes sense? All right, so instead of, instead of just throwing the three, we're doing the pivot. Same thing here. Instead of just throwing the hook, we're going to. Then you throw the hook, of course, if you want. Or whatever, you can throw whatever you want out there. But just make sure we're focusing mainly on that pivot. It's really just this pivot. Oh, and make sure the front foot's a little pigeon toed. Because otherwise, this, if, it's, if not, this angle's hard to do. 
you can do it by just pivoting, but it's a lot easier if you pivot and go. And then it still swivel up, but it's really easy because you barely ask for it. All right. You guys ready? So all off the three. Make sure that three's ready. Like a, like a cat. Look at a cat when they go. There's no setup at all. They're already, the second they get scared or anything, they'll, it's already mad. So the, the leg is constantly set up for that. Like, like, right? It's already, it's already ready to go. Right? The only difference is, is you're pivoting off, but you're using that to pivot. Right. And time. So in your strong stance, front leg, instead of just pivot, hook, hook, and we're going to think angles. You can always do the step too, like bring it, bring it, then angles. Instead of just doing the angle, All right, bring the back foot with you, just like you were doing here before. What's nice about this is it's just there's so much more potential when you do this. It's almost an infinite potential. Instead of just hooking back Your mind just from this, just from that alone, you can control an opponent coming in. Your elbows either behind them here or behind them. Here. All right, you kind of go behind their arm without really using the arms, just doing this kind of thing. So, see, without really doing much with the arms, you can control an opponent and put them in the Put them in a certain place. <laughs> Move them. All right, here, here. Move them. Move, them. Move, them. Move, them. Move them. What makes it better is you're taking this step first. Same thing, uh, other side. The same thing, but the, bringing the right leg. Remember, you can always bend a little from here for the uppers. But remember, the focus is bringing the step, pivot. Bring the step, pivot. So imagine you're uh, working with somebody, but you see all their stuff coming. So all their all their punches, all their moves coming. You see them like when they first start from the legs. So you're relaxed. You see everything coming, kind of anticipated, and you can use uh, 
Just like when you trap here, trap people here, you can trap people with this too. All right. Trap. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Slip. Trap. Trap. <clears throat> Right, let's work. Uh, we're trying to work some some uh, um, angles where we're switching sides now. We can kind of actually let's freestyle a little bit, but using uh, kind of kind of what we're doing the other week or last couple weeks, where you're doing this thing where you you can pivot from a I do a combo, and you can do like a two two two, but if you keep pivoting, it turns into three right so doing your working the twos in there until it becomes a three now you're on the other side right and then same thing work work your twos until it turns into a three and now you're on this side so your full work's really just doing this it's like you're going uh yeah, <laughs> Pop it would look like, uh, right? Pop, 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 through here, and then like that. All right, so you're just doing <laughs> this pivot, pivot, pivot. That makes sense. And then you're just pivoting the foot out. It can be done like that, or you can, um, it's almost like you have a, um, think of it like this. So you have a ball here, right? And the opponent, to get through you, they're going to have to push that. But they have to push it here or here, right? You're not letting them push it straight. They got to push you. They're either going to push your leg this way or they're going to push this leg this way. So you're making them fight for all the – you're letting them push you, but every time they push you, you can, you can be hitting them. Like every little turn, they turn you. That makes sense. That makes sense. So just pivot, and really, you just want to make you think of keeping that energy in the back. You don't have to do a lot of this. You just gotta. Keep, the turn's gonna do most of it, and if you wanna let it go a little, you can. But it's really an illusion mainly, because you're mostly doing this, right? You can just turn it there at the very end if you want. But you're just going side to side and rotating back. All right. Make sense? That, that makes sense? Cool. Time.
Don't worry about the punches. It's freestyle. Just imagine the opponent keeps pushing you back. And then same thing back. Just work a little bit at a time. Even without the punches, just here. Is it here, 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 and back. It's a lot of getting out of your own way. Just getting out of your own way. Even if you don't punch, it's like you're, you're just adapting to the opponent and slipping and trapping, you know? Trapping where you're... You don't really have to think of the offense, the defense. Or to drop. nice because if you really master that timing this whole idea of just you can come back to this idea of um, you know just being able to punch off when we do our basic basic where we're doing the thing where we just walk normally and try to do that you know we can come back to that basic and it means something completely different because now we, you actually can punch at any second off of there you know so that's uh oh that time's wrong let me make sure we have time oh we got time so uh, same thing again, working the pivots. Remember to just go out for every little increment. Every little increment uh, gives you a move. You don't necessarily have to punch with it though, but just in every little pivot. You do something, right? And you can also, it doesn't have to be just, you can kind of here, here, here. In other words, And back. All right. So go ahead and play with that timing. Just step back. And one more round of that. Time. Any speed. Speed does not matter on this. What matters is just really kind of having fun. You just have to, like, find find what's there. Like there's the angles, right? Like boom, 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 boom. But there's a lot of stuff you can find in there. You know, you can play with those angles. You can also do this. Someone's pushing you and you're just rotating them off. And they push you into those steps. So there's that too. You're crowding them, crowding them, crowding them, crowding them, crowding them.
a lot of ways to be play with the timing. You can just you can use them with steps, step, step, or pivots. Can be any kind of angle you want. So it's, like a, it's kind of a lot, a lot of a lot of different potential on those ones. See, there's just a, a whole lot of different things you can do with those with those steps. Let's uh, let me see. So it's the same idea, but we'll do a cool or a cool down round. Remember, too, as we're doing this, as we're doing the same thing, slow. Remember that sometimes you can do those. Remember those traps where your knee ends up right in back of their leg. You know when you do these. You know what I'm talking about. Those traps, remember, remember you can remember those as you're doing these. You know, like say you're coming in, you could like say you slipped a jab or something. You're coming in, you see, you could destroy their stance that way, right? <laughs> destroy their stance, and then <laughs> hit them before they can really fall or anything. So though that kind of stuff, the traps, and then um could also be this way on the way back. You get someone's leg and you can sweep them back, make them fall forward a little. So think of, think of that here and there. Think of that, that same same steps we've been doing, but think of you think of that as well. It just puts the attention in the legs more, it changes a little. All right. All right. How do we have? Or just wish we could. Oh, the opponent is pushing you into position. You're just standing strong and letting them push you into position. You're just really resisting, keeping them, kind of slowing them down so you don't just fall over, right? You're just kind of letting them push you into position, trapping, trap the leg, pull it back, pull back this leg, trap the leg, trap the leg, trap, 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 slip. So you're really focusing on like the waist down, what it's doing, right? You kind of win the fight there, right? Take away their stability so they don't really, they can't really punch you with a nice angle straight on, right? You're making them punch at funny angles. Oh, it's changing. Oh, by the way, just, it might cut off. If it gets cuts off, I'll see you all next week. Yeah, it's <laughs> well, it you. might cut off at the end of the round. You guys have a good one. You too. Remember to drop and everyone. Don't have to be seen, but you want to feel that just little drop at the end. You feel your energy 
Sink. Okay, and then it's heavy and you're going to the ground right at the end. Sink. 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 